Is there a place somewhere out there that calls to you? For me, Killarney, OSA Lake is that special place. For years, I dreamt of journeying there and experiencing it firsthand. But from reservations that are difficult to obtain to a lack of friends willing to accompany me and cancellations due to tumultuous weather, for years it eluded me. I finally reached OSA Lake for the first time, just myself and my dog, in July of 2021. This time, over a year later, I had a new partner to brave the late October paddling season with and return to OSA Lake. This place, being here, especially in the fall, it feels like you've stepped into a group of seven painting, completely surrounded by this stunning landscape. Isn't that beautiful? It's everywhere. She found a stick. I shall try to think back 20 years or more. I had been on a canoe trip with three professors. At the time, the only way into Trout Lake was to make a four-mile portage from Bay Finn on the Georgian Bay. Trout Lake is full of islands and surrounded by big quartz hills. There were a lot of big old pines there. We were told the Spanish River Company were going to cut them all down the following winter. I had spoke to a number of people to see if anything could be done to save the old pines. Fred Brigden heard about it and came to see me. He said there was going to be a big convention in a few days of all the Natural History Society and similar societies from all over Ontario and it would be a fine chance to bring the matter before them. At the time, I was rather shy and scared to address a big meeting. So Fred suggested I write a letter, and he would have it read, and by good luck, Mr. Finnelson, Minister of Lands and Forests, was at the meeting. He went to see Fred and told him he could arrange with the Spanish River people to have an exchange of limits. So it was really due to Fred Brigden's efforts, Trout Lake became a park. Franklin Carmichael probably had something to do with it being taken into trust by the OSA. With best wishes, A.Y. Jackson. What are you doing? <laughs> 
videoing you. Stop it. <laughs> Late October, Killarney feels quiet. There are no bugs, and the loons have already migrated, taking their distinct call with them. The silence, at times just as haunting and beautiful. I think he's watching me. We decided to take a little day trip and go exploring. On the map, there was an interesting little section that appeared to be off the beaten path. Hi, Nova. Path. Oh, there's a big rock over there. This place is pretty cool. Is Killarney calling you? Check out my solo trip to OSA Lake in this video here.